Well, hello again, and welcome to another episode of Surgical Pathology Digital Slide Review and Sign Out. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel, and on this fun Friday, our program is brought to you by the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy, which uh, features the digital slides, uh, and that is a joint venture with the Digital Pathology Association and PATH Presenter. Uh, my time, as usual, is sponsored by the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center, uh, where we have a great uh, cancer program, a wonderful residency program, and lots of exciting uh, cases. Uh, one of our expertise areas is that of gynecologic pathology, and uh, our case today comes from that realm. A 45-year-old woman who's been experiencing pelvic pain and on exams noted to have an enlarged uh, uterus. Curatage is not productive, and so they go to uh, hysterectomy, at which time uh, this is a, a nice gross photograph of the findings. As you can see here, we don't have too much in the endometrial cavity here, but within the wall, we have these multiple islands of uh, tumor cells, sort of irregular and ratty through the myometrium, and here on the opposite side, apparently extending into the adnexa and distorting the fallopian tube. So that's a fairly distinctive appearance, this sort of worm-like uh, pattern of the myometrial involvement suggests uh, some sort of a stromal neoplasm. Um, and here is the microscopic correlate of that, as you can see, uh, lots of uh, islands of blue tissue, sort of a serpiginous pattern infiltrating between the underlying uh, myometrium. As we go to higher magnification, we can see here uh, that this tissue also has uh, somewhat of a delicate vascular pattern winding through this uh, uh, purple tissue. Um, and it's a, a very, fairly small vessel type of pattern. Um, looking again at further magnification, these look to be fairly uniform spindle-shaped cells, and here again we see this delicate vascular pattern weaving its way through the tumor tissue. Uh, looking again further, we see rare mitoses, perhaps here is one, uh, and we see uh, generally fairly uniform spindle-shaped cells, uh, another mitosis here, um, without too much atypia or pleomorphism. Let's look at another uh, slide example, um, not from this case, but from a similar case. And here again, we see this pattern of multiple nodules of uh, blue tissue. Here, however, uh, there's a little bit more pink admixed in with it. And we might think uh, that this resembles a uh, smooth muscle tumor, possibly. Um, here this, we see this uh, spindle-shaped pattern, fairly cellular. But again, very little pleomorphism, uh, very little atypia, um, and then this delicate uh, vascular background. Uh, if we look at other areas in this slide, uh, here we can see uh, another island of this uh, sort of tissue uh, interspersed between the smooth muscle. Um, almost merging with it. So resembling uh, some of the infiltrative patterns that can be seen with uh, smooth muscle tumors, but having generally a lower uh, histologic grade in terms of uh, pleomorphism, cellularity about that that you would see in a leiomyoma, uh, but, uh, or leiomyosarcoma, but uh, only a few mitoses. Here's maybe one there, uh, but not very many others, and certainly no atypical mitoses. So another example, to just to give uh, further uh, instruction here, here's the, the endometrium up here, um, and we see the endometrium has a fairly normal uh, perimenopausal appearance. And here is this uh, neoplasm of uh, sort of stromal blue cells uh, infiltrating into the myometrium, not forming the rounded mass of a uh, leiomyosarcoma or a leiomyoma, but more of an infiltrative uh, pattern. And again, delicate vasculature, bland, low-grade spindle cells. Here's a few mitotic 
excuse me, a few nucleoli uh, present in this slide. I'll show you one more slide, again showing this uh, infiltrative pattern of this tumor. Uh, this one coming a little closer to the endometrial uh, surface up here. Um, and we can see again, this is a tumor of fairly uniform spindle-shaped cells, um, delicate vascular background, occasional mitoses, a little bit more coarse uh, nuclear chromatin in this uh, particular uh, field here. Um, a little bit of atypia, but nothing very high grade and no uh, wildly pleomorphic uh, nuclei. So I've given you uh, several uh, fields to look at. These are the findings that are characteristic of a low grade endometrial stromal sarcoma. The growth pattern uh, with these uh, nests uh, interspersed in the uh, myometrium. Uh, and uh, parading through uh, this pattern like little worms winding its way through the, through the earth of the myometrium is very typical of uh, low-grade endometrial stromal sarcoma. Typical presentation in these cases, again, usually would be a uh, pelvic mass with uterine enlargement, but we have seen a few cases where it's presented as a miliary peritoneal uh, pattern of involvement. Often the decuretage will not detect this uh, lesion because uh, it doesn't have much, if any, endometrial surface involvement. The tumors are typically estrogen and progesterone receptor positive, uh, CD10 positive, and beta catenin positive. All of those are things that would be less likely to find in a uh, leiomyosarcoma. And a majority of cases will also have a unique uh, fusion transcript, the JAS-F1 and JJAS-1 fusion. The differential diagnosis does include uh, adenomyosis with sparse glands. We do uh, see that from occasion. An endometrial stromal nodule, although that's usually more superficial, a single focus, uh, without this pattern of uh, myometrial infiltration. Uh, cellular leiomyoma or leiomyomatosis uh, and possibly leiomyosarcoma can look like this. And in the uh, miliary type, stroma-only endometriosis uh, can be included in the differential. Other endometrial sarcomas that can occur, obviously, are the more common leiomyosarcoma. But endometrial stromal sarcoma is probably the second most common uh, sarcoma in the uh, uh, uterus. Picomas can also occur in this location, though they are much less frequent. Undifferentiated sarcoma occurs as well as uh, inflammatory myofibroblastic tumor. And we might add to this list uh, the adenosarcomas or the Mullerian adenosarcoma uh, lesion. As a way of comparison, I have here a slide of uh, leiomyosarcoma. Uh, which again, you can see is very fairly cellular, uh, they're spindle-shaped cells. But it, with this particular case, and this is a fairly well-differentiated one, notice that there's much more pleomorphism to the nuclei here. Here's an atypical mitosis. Mitotic, features, fe mitotic figures are generally easy to identify, and uh, you should note uh, that is uh, not a common feature with low-grade uh, endometrial stromal sarcomas. Another feature to compare would be that of a picoma, and here's a high magnification view of a picoma, which you can see also has somewhat of a spindle-shaped uh, uh, growth pattern, um, but the cells are less closely packed. There's more uh, cytoplasm. It's oftentimes clear, and of course the immunohistochemistry would be remarkably different as this would stain with HMB45 uh, or other markers of uh, picoma. So our final diagnosis today is endometrial stromal sarcoma, low grade, um, presenting in a 45-year-old woman. Again, these cases come as part of the uh, NIH uh, designated cancer center uh, operations of the Stevenson Oklahoma Cancer Center on the campus of University of Oklahoma. Please stop by and visit us when you have a chance, and uh, we will look forward to that.
But until then, uh, please share your comments, subscribe below, uh, and give us a like or a comment. So we welcome those either directly or uh, if you want to reach out more personally, uh, there's my Twitter handle and uh, email. Thanks, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time when we'll hope to bring another area of uh, pathology, surgical pathology, into sharper focus.